Disclaimer, copyrights enforced. The following is based on true events, facts, fiction, second party, observations, nonsense, hearsay, bullshit. You be the judge. One thing we guarantee is 100% pure entertainment. All names, places, persons, and things, etc. have been changed for privacy issues. This show is R-rated, may contain obscene language, nudity, not for persons under 18. Please listen responsibly. I'm ready, bros. I'm ready. Now they have bigger right arms yeah. because now they jerk people <laughs> off. Unless you're a lefty like you, right, Rammer? What's that called? Dumb? Happy next <laughs> You're not taping this, are you? Of course. Oh, fuck. Anyways. It's all that being anti actors. Blow our talk card here with Julian. And Reimer. Ah, we got a good one today, Reimer. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. What are, we, what are we talking about today? The man? evolution of the stripper. Oh. Of the exotic dancer. My bad. I shouldn't call them strippers. Like I'm, what? I'm, I'm very, like, what's my proper etiquette? The exotic dancer. Right. So we're going back to, like, what, the Bedouin days? Like, you know, women No, in no, no. When I was, like, 20. Process. The what? Yeah. <laughs> You know, like the 101, 1,001. Okay, we're not talking 1940s back in the day. We're talking like back in the day, 1997. How about that? Oh, 97. Oh, well, that's going way back. Okay, not back and shaking (laughs) here with the frills. But anyways, back in the day, like if you know anything about strip clubs today, which I don't think you do too much. Uh, No, most recently, I'm a little out of touch. Okay, I'll give you a quick highlight. Today, we've got um, 12 strip clubs in 1994. How many would you think we had? We have 12 today, probably double that, 24. 55. 55. Everywhere, everywhere. Every block there was a, you know, you know what we used to say to each other? I'll meet you by this place. And that was the, that's what we used to use them as streets. The local landmark. The landmark, because there were so many of them. Like, you know, in Scarborough, this place, that place. There was always a strip club. They were everywhere, man. Yeah. But anyways, the point what is... What do you do for entertainment? This is before YouTube. What YouTube? There was no fucking internet. No, was there internet back? YouTube. Was there internet? No, there back was. then the big deal was the Sunshine Girl. That's why the strip joints. If you wanted to be, you know, like you wouldn't see any nudity. Like there was no internet back no, then. Because the dial-up by the time the picture uh, came up on the yeah, 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 I had that. Oh, I had yeah. that actually. At the eyebrows. Oh, nose. I'm. Done. How the fuck did you jerk off to watching that picture come in at that speed? Like at least you know, like I need the like a three-minute video clip, not a. 20 second picture upload. I was just going off memory of Sears catalog. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The Toronto Sunshine Girl. But anyway, yeah. remember the 20 minute workout. Okay, four more. Three more. <laughs> I used to run home after school. Anyways, okay, we're going off topic. The evolution. I remember back when we used to go, it was $5 a dance. And the girl used to, um, like, as opposed to today, they're like 20, 30, whatever. The, we'll get to that, the, the, the buildup. But it was five bucks a dance, she would carry a box. Mm-hmm. Like a, like a little mini stage for herself. And her, like, she just carried, lug it around. Would you like to dance? And you're like, okay. And she'd put the, the box in front of you okay. and dance to the song, give you five bucks. You couldn't put a finger on or nothing. So, like, what, like, a, like a wooden, like an apple box? She like, like a mini stage, like a yeah. little, like, so it's a regular square, like a little baby stage. Yeah. Okay. And then some other clubs had booths, though, like a little horseshoes where she would just hop on and dance. But in the meantime, now, if you're sitting with four people, yeah. Everybody gets to see. She gives you more attention, the guy who pays, but... So for five bucks, one guy gives five bucks. And she would dance for the table, but she'd give you, like, she'd bend over for you more. Right. But at the end of the day, it's five bucks. And that's the good old days, because we used to go out, and the beers were cheaper, you know, you'd see all these beautiful girls, there'd be so many girls, and it, well, you wouldn't get bankrupt just on one visit. So you'd have, like, you know, five guys around, five bucks a pop. You go home after, you know, because there was no lap dancing yet, right? So you go home, you spend 100 bucks, you had a good time. You had a great time. So lap dancing is new. Well, it's not necessarily new. Like, it's uh, after that, then evolved pretty quickly. Then about, I don't know, maybe five years, a a club opened on Young and Eglinton area, and uh, it was like 10 bucks, and it was like they got raided all the time. And they started lap dancing. Like, you get it, we're like, okay, we went, and it was like, we're like freaking out. They're allowing you to touch their boobs. They're riding your dicks. I'm like, holy fuck, this is great, man. Ten bucks. Okay. The place was jam-packed, but it kept getting, like, you know, there was, like, violations of the rules of conduct, blah, 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 whatever. So, wait, wait. So, it'd be, like, ten bucks would be one person or is still for the table? No, no. Now she's dancing. Now she's on your, on. Oh. she's lap dancing. Like, she's literally on you. Yeah. And you're in a private booth or is there, like... Nobody, are your buddies around while she's Everybody, every, I think, no, no, there was open concept at the time still. Okay. They're just, they haven't developed the private booths at the time. So, yeah, yeah, it was just, they were just sitting on top of you. Yeah, your buddies are next to you. Who gives a fuck? Right. 
again, it was brand new, so nobody, nobody knew how it would evolve again, right? And then um, it evolved again, it would go up to 20 bucks. And then the girls started, like, you know, getting into the real dances. That's when they started building booths, and then the drinks started going up. There was a club up there in uh, Richmond Hill that was in a residential area, one of the best clubs. Packed, packed, packed. But it was open till like, 4 in the morning. Alcohol would stop at 1, and they'd keep going till 4, charging 20 bucks or 12 bucks for a bottle of water. Oh, that's incredible. 12 bucks <coughs> for a bottle of water? Well, I guess at that time, you want to kind of sober up so you can send the kids off to school. No, people would just go at 1 o'clock just to get the dances. Remember, this yeah. is all new. So they would leave your house at 1 in the morning. You're not drinking. You know that. You just yeah. go in there to get that experience. Again, this is at that early stage where there's not too much of this shit going on. So... It was like that's why they stayed open till four because they knew guys would still come. Like, who the fuck's gonna go to a strip joint at two in the morning? So, like, you know, you're not in Vegas. No. You know, that's not a bachelor party or but something. There's always been strip clubs in Toronto. I mean, yeah. this, is, this, this is the peak. Yeah. No, the this is when it's like the evolution of risk. Yeah, yeah. Of course, there's always been strip clubs in the 50s, of course. But yeah. they're like the before, like just like regular dancing. I think they even had the, I remember when I was 18, they, the G string long changed. They were allowed to take the G string off. That must have been when I was 18, so that's about 30 years ago, maybe? 29, yeah, 30 years, same. And then the, what they, 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 they... They took it off. They took it off. And yeah, they like used to wear it before. There, well, they used to wear, they had to take off, they had to wear their, their panties okay. to dance. There was against the law to be nude. Wow. Yeah, again, you know, you're going back even before, like we were born, like we're, we, I wasn't allowed back then. But anyways, so now we hit the thing, and then, um, then they started being creative with the booths. Started making booths, now we're like almost to this level of today. Now they don't even hardly dance. Like now it's more of a they sexual favors for the money. Like so they you can like what kind of sexual favors are we talking about here? <laughs> you know what, man? Like I don't know. Like you could obviously the, the, the minimal to give a hand job, a, a blow job. Is that legal? Technically, no. But <laughs> yeah. do they do it? Yes. <laughs> Clearly I've do not they, been. <laughs> do they do it a lot? Oh yeah. Depending on the club. There is clean and there is like known for that. Right. So you would like if you're a girl, you wouldn't go work at that club unless you're willing to give blowjobs because you're not going to make any money. Yeah. And then on the other side, you go, you would go to that club, the other club where you know it's clean and you don't want to be that girl. So you'd go there, and everybody that goes there is not expecting it. You understand? It's a small right. world, pretty much. Everybody knows everything. So they lay out the rules beforehand. I can imagine. It's not. No, 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 no. There's, there's like, no real rules. It's just a word of mouth kind of thing. Okay. Believe it or not, there's even review boards that say. If you go to this club, see her. She does this, this, and this. Hmm. Yeah, like there is a couple of places you could actually get like real info. But that's, who's got the time to fucking review that shit? You want to go out, you go out, right? I don't yeah. know. There is people who do, though. Oh, I was there. I seen her last Saturday. I read the review. He goes, I seen her last Saturday. She's great. Then another guy writes, oh, yeah, when is she there? What about anybody see Michelle? I'm like, you could read on and on and on. The threads are like huge, man. Like page after page of guys just were jotting in stuff. That's, of course, is Michelle writing that going, hey. No, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Just, just, you know, for a couple extra bucks, Michelle will do this. <laughs> well, because that'd be smart. <laughs> be like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Michelle. <laughs> Again, uh, yeah, uh, she doesn't need it because if she's doing it, the word spreads anyways. Right. It's one of those <laughs> things that everybody's going to hear about in a, uh, a matter of a day or two. So does Michelle. Yeah. So the evolution of the stripper is very funny, like, because the, from the carrying that box with her left arm, like, you know, walking around, like, not begging, like, like, hey, lugging a box. Just picture her lugging a mini stage around. Yeah, I'm picturing like a Charlie Chaplin esque hobo kind of like walking it's, around. But going, again, she's a hot dance. girl, but that was the way it was. Yeah. And then today, they have, like, back then, I guess their left arm was a lot muscular because carrying that box. Now their right arms are probably more muscular because giving all those hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stupid joke, but you know what I mean? Like, that's funny. It's pretty funny, like if you if you grew up in it, then to see from how it did change, yeah, it's pretty like dramatic. In a short time, we gone, we've gone off the charts in some places. But again, there's not that many anymore because people can't afford them. Like you need a five hundred bucks to go out. So you're looking at so let's say let's say I go to uh, a strip club. I'm looking at is there a, first off does there a cover when I go in? Some of them have like a few bucks, five bucks, two bucks, depends. Two hmm. bucks. Five bucks, I think. Okay. I don't know, man. I, I just pay <laughs> shit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Guy goes, I walk in, there's three people. I go, here, it's a 20. I walk <laughs> in. I don't know. I don't analyze I was it. I'm with two bucks. Going, what? Two dollars. At one point, I, pro yeah. I probably was, but now I think it's five, ten. Uh, some, some places, believe me, not all of them. Yeah. Just the, I really don't know. And then you go in there, you, you grab yourself a beer. And what are beers costing nowadays? 
like to go. Oh fuck, twelve bucks, ten bucks, eleven bucks to drink a Heineken. Yeah. Did and they always charge that much for beer? Nah, back you know, again. That's what I'm saying. Five bucks a dance back then. Six bucks a beer. Right. Even if you had six, ten beers, you know, you're spending a hundred bucks now. You can't go unless you have five hundred dollars in your pocket. Damn. Minimum. Like if you really want to go, yeah. you could obviously go and have one beer, but. Right. A beer is 11, 12 bucks. You have a shot, 12 bucks. Me and you go, how much do we need? That's around is 50, 40 bucks. You got to give the girl a tip, 50, 45, 50 bucks. Now we have 10 drinks. Yeah. It's a fin. And I imagine they're not serving craft beer. No, I only drink Heineken anyways. Not that I'm a big shot, but I just like it. Yeah. But uh, if, you, if you drink, uh, no, there's no draft. Is that what you said? No, no, like, you know, craft, craft beer. You craft? Know, like, yeah, oh, those, like, oh, those new I trendy beer. Bit, yeah, 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 yeah. I want something uh, with some hops. I want, <laughs> no, no, no. You got no. something with a sour? <laughs> <laughs> they don't serve. No, no. it's only bought. I don't. <laughs> actually, the one did get a tap. Like, um, I think they just sell, like, blue or some shit like that. But anyways, no, nah, there's no craft beer. They don't have any. Uh, n- they only have bottles. <laughs> craft beer. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's the, they do that, and then they dance. Uh, but again, carrying the box, five bucks to now. They're giving blowjobs, banging. Is there is there more more girls uh, than back then, with uh, the walking around with the box than there is now? Like were there? There is no more box. No. Okay, sorry. Let me clarify this. So back in the day, did they do a stage show and then walk around? With the yes, box? correct. And they yeah. still do that. Now they did. They walk around with no box. They walk around with their cell phones and they go on stage. To, to advertise themselves, but they, the, the, when they go now, there's actual booths in the back. They go to the back, and right. now you do your thing in the back, whatever it is. Just a dance or yeah. an upcharge of a hand job, whatever you want, whatever she's willing to provide or whatever you're willing to pay. Yeah. And the booze is nice, priced expensive, and uh, they're fun, but again, you need money. See, I remember a long time ago there was this, um, when they were talking about r- uh, making changes to the rules, it was like lap dances weren't allowed. Like not every province has lap dances. Well, in t- here, when they just started, they were getting raided all the time. Yeah. Like, like even the ones like, like close to my, like where I used to go, like they were getting raided all the time, charged as body houses. But they were making so much money, they pay the fine. Mm-hmm. And the next day, they're back at it again. And eventually, the city just gave up. They just stopped. Like, I don't know why, but. Yeah. Like, they, so it was like City Hall, a bunch of like, you know. At the time, there must have been a couple, a, couple of, a couple of people like yeah. pushing it a little bit. This is, this is dirty. This is not good for yeah. the whatever. So they made a few raids, whatever, whatever you want to call them, fines. And then eventually those people told you, shut up, man. Like, you know, like, stop. Like, yeah. you're just annoying us. And they, they disappeared. Yeah, we're all consenting adults here. Well, yeah. And it's not, it's, there was no real harm done. Like, you know, no. you, you pay, she makes money, who cares, right? Yeah. The other thing is, though, but now they fucked <laughs> everything up. Well, they don't really fuck it up. To be a dancer in the city, you need a license. Okay. But if you have any kind of criminal record, you can't dance in the city. So you need a license. Do you do a training course or something like that? <laughs> you qualify? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's okay. a poll. You go walk into like the downtown <laughs> office. The girl goes, okay, I like my license, please. And then the guy, the guy goes, yeah, okay, there's yeah. the poll. Let me see. So she starts dancing for him. No. But around, can you do the butterfly? <laughs> yeah, you qualify. Down. Yeah. Give us three bills and you get yeah. your license. No, it's uh, you need your license to work in the city, and you have if you have a criminal record, they won't give it to you, no matter what it is. The smallest thing, they reject you. Really, just jaywalking or something like that? No. No, you fuck jaywalking. What? Is there such a thing as jaywalking? Who gets a jaywalking ticket? <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've never seen anybody get that ticket. I know it probably. I do know, I do know people who have. I've been told peop- the people I... that you know are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I know a million people, and not one person has ever gotten a jaywalking ticket. And we've co- cops. We walked in front of cop cars. Wow. Anyways, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're bad. Was, we're badass, man. <laughs> you wanna know how gangster I am? Yeah, I, I walk- stop in front of the cop, man. I want to give me a ticket for jaywalking. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, but, oh, the light's green. Let's go. But she again, no, you need it, and a lot of girls couldn't get it because of that. So, but and you go 30 minutes that way west. You're in Mississauga, and no license necessary. Oh, I and that's see. why all the hot, dirty girls are dancing in those clubs, and in Toronto they're not. So it's not a provincial thing; it's a city. It's thing. a, uh, I guess, city yeah, thing. city to city. Yeah, Toronto, you need a license. Right. Not Mississauga. I don't know about Scarborough and so shit. Do the, do the not put out like Woodbridge and those Thorn Hills. No, those clubs are dirty. Right, and those ones have different rules. Like then, they're op- they're, they're, their their rules are. Open-minded, we'll call it. But yeah, because yeah, the girls there don't need a license. So even if they have a criminal record, like 
Some girl, let's be honest, you get caught with a joint, you get fucking, I don't know, whatever. They, they shoplifted a fucking pan, a bra. Yeah. That's a charge. Yeah. So you can't get that license now. You can't work at the downtown. Which they should give her the license so she could afford to buy that instead of shoplifting that bra. It's just the way they, 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 they pro first of all, they're charging three to five hundred bucks for a license. For what particular reason? Okay. Okay. For, yeah. Just and like then they're refusing the girls that have a baby, crime. a baby thing. Like, it's not like they have like fucking cocaine fucking trafficking charges and then okay you know if you have like a petty charge you still refuse so let me ask where where where's the best money for the girls like where do they like working for the money See, Toronto, it's, it depends the now well in toronto if you're a hot girl you go to the big clubs they're the big suits they have money yeah okay but now if you're a hot girl who doesn't fucking goes to the west out there in mississauga she makes a lot of money because she's hot and she's down and t down and dirty right that's who makes more money think about it pretty or pretty and down and dirty. You can't speak. Like, <laughs> it's pretty easy, right? Pretty, pretty win. It's like giving you a hockey example. Hey, guys, it's, it's like giving you a hockey example. Yeah. You know what the funny thing is? Today, he told me, he, he like goes, did you watch the Calgary game? I go, what the fuck Calgary? We live in Toronto. I go, I only follow, I'm a Montreal fan and Toronto. And he goes, I go, no, I don't watch the Calgary game. It's on at 10.30. <laughs> It was just, again, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about, but it was an inside joke. Go Flames. <laughs> yeah, go Flames. Rhymer's from Calgary, and originally, that's why he's dumb. No, it's not. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Nothing hey. wrong with the Calgary people. Again, I take that back. You're going to get a cup before Toronto does. It was, a, it was a hockey, it was a hockey, the way he asked, it was a hockey topic. But, again, if you're a, if you're a team owner of an NHL team, yeah. would you prefer to have a guy that could score 30 goals or a guy that could score 50 goals? Like, come on, like, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, but you want... Uh, oh, fuck, okay, man. Here we yeah, go. Yeah. He's going to try to analyze that. <laughs> I said pretty and, you know, or pretty and make money down and dirty. Who would you rather have? Come on. Quick answer. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, want, you, want the, you want the money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the pretty. And the pretty. You, okay. got the, you got the looks already, so you might sure. as well have the down and dirty. Yeah. It's a fucking no-brainer. That's, right? That's a bonus package on that. It's a, it's a package but so, deal. But sometimes, sometimes you go, mm, look at your options. Yeah, but, what, but again, if you still have the fucking pretty, you don't need to have the fucking extra. See, when a hockey team is not ah, doing well, they go with the, with, the, with the down and dirty, right? You see, this, you see the stupidity <laughs> I have to put up with people? Listen to this guy. I don't even know what the fucking... Nah, he's really lost me. At the end of the day, she's got the pretty. Yeah. She doesn't need to fucking do the down, the dirty if you don't want it. She's not right. forcing you. No. There's no gun to your head. <laughs> you better get a blowjob. Let me give you a blowjob. I don't give a fuck. No, that's not happening. <laughs> so you still... <laughs> fork over 50 bucks. 50? Wait, I don't know what the blowjob go for. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> <laughs> she, okay, if you told that girl anybody 50 bucks, I think they give you a, what are they, a stiletto to the head. <laughs> black eye. Okay. Not black guy. A stiletto, those six to seven inches right to yeah. the head. Aye, aye. 50 bucks. Nah, man, depends. But nothing, you're not getting no $50. A minimum 100, 100, 120. Minimum 50 bucks. We're talking pretty, good looking. We're not talking crack and fucking. <laughs> <st> <laughs> We're not talking crack and fucking whatever, man. Like, come on. Even those girls want to fucking 60 bucks, don't they? Uh, yeah, I, I hope so. I have. Yeah, I know. They, they want a round of Off here. topic, off topic, okay. off topic. Let's take that back. Uh, but, anyways, the evolution of the stripper. <laughs> Did we even cover that? Yeah, so they used to walk around boxes. Yeah. Then to move from. <laughs> <laughs> they still carry stages, little baby stages, mini stages. Right. Like a little and mini stage. To the uh, to the to the day to the to the today where they're walking around with. Uh, they're not walking. They're walking around with their cell phones and just fucking hitting the, the VIP booths and. Right. So what do they do with the cell phone? What they they're taking. That's it was an example. They don't carry nothing but their cell phone. Okay. Uh, back then, they used I to I was just sure, like, you would page them going to come to table six. No, they're always on their phones. It's, like, it's an example. Like, the whole world's on their phone, man. Yeah. If you ever walk into a strip club, every girl's sitting in the corner uh, during the day, and they're always on their phones. Looking, they're not looking up. Right. It's, like, ridiculous. Like, funny, funny, fuck. You know how bad it's gotten? I remember going to Niagara Falls one time. The place is not there no more. Around, it was a Saturday afternoon, and we looked in the VIP. I just glanced. And I looked, there was about 20 girls dancing. They didn't have any dividers or nothing. I fucking freaked out. And all I seen is 20 heads bopping up and down. Bum, 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 like up in the simultaneous, <laughs> like, in, like in a row. Like they're in synchrony. Like what the fuck is that called? Those synchronized swimmers yeah. where they do the leg shit? Like a uh, synchronized swimming, yeah. Yeah, but they were like, in, it's like all the 20 girls were giving the same guys, like different guys blowjob, but 20 in a row, not 20, maybe 10. But it was just like they were all in sync. It was, I was looking, what the fuck is going on here? Bump, bump, bump. They're all like yeah. one, like they were like in perfect lineup. Amazing. Playing the William uh, Tell Overture, bump, 
<laughs> you know what? That's how it looked. I looked in, and then you know what? There it was. It was pretty crazy, but yeah, that's uh, the evolution, I guess. <laughs> hey, did the girls back in the day did they have to bring their own stage, or did the club provide that? That little box? yeah, they had a, they had a carpentry shop in the basement. They would make them. Really? That's amazing. How the fuck you know where they got the stage from, bro? Like now you're asking me stupid questions. Yeah, they had a they had a woodsmith downstairs with a with a hammer and nails. He built them. <laughs> I'm assuming the club provided. No, no, the girl would bring the, the the mini stage from her house. She had to go buy it at the the, the <laughs> plaza. That was bottom line, man. Of course, the club had them, man. They had them probably stacked in the corner. <laughs> I just imagine some carpentry skills. Yeah, we all yeah, needed yeah, for yeah. trade. You know? The girl, the girl used to build. Uh, she used to be at home. Okay, watch getting a hammer and she used the nails and she was there. Tuk, tuk, tuk. Okay, here's some, then she'd be on it at night. It break because fucking she didn't hammer it properly. Okay. <laughs> of course, they provide the fucking thing. <laughs> they use a screw on that box. Mm. Actually, you know what? The, th the uh, one thing about that comment is that you made a stupid comment, but <laughs> it was a comment. But there is now they do charge them fees. So back then they probably didn't charge them to use that box. Okay. Or that mini stage, but today if they did use it, they would probably charge them twenty bucks. Because now for everything at the club, they charge them to, uh, for the DJ fee, uh, door fees they gotta pay to go in. If the DJ plays their songs, um, oh shit, yeah, man, they, it's like they take, man. The owners just take, take, take. So before they would they would come in, the owners would say, hey, come, you can work. The here. owner, if you were on schedule, he would pay you to be there. Oh, incredible. Yeah, now you want to go to there. Was that a split or anything like that back in the day? No, no, no. no. You keep whatever you money. made, but the man, the man, he would have to pay you to show up. But you would have to show up between the, the certain times that you said you would. Okay, so you could develop a celebrity and a fan base and like be a Then draw. you go there and you're a daytime girl or you're a nighttime girl and people would expect to be there because you're a scheduled girl. Now girls are freelancers too. They show up whenever they want. But when you do that, here's the right to say we already have too many. Okay. And you can't come, even if you're beautiful, whatever. So he says no, and when you say, if he says yes, you pay. There's a door fee, whatever it could be, 50, 100, whatever. Wow, so then you have Some to... of these hot girls would come out at 12 o'clock at night only, work two hours, get two guys, and they make their $1,000. Wow. And the other girls are there from six, hustling. Because so the owner, what would you do if you're the owner? Either you want them in there at 12 to satisfy those big shooter guys, yeah. but the girl that's coming in, you got to make her pay. Yeah. Anyways, the, th the times have changed, man. They, and you know what? This, this, I agree with that in a sense because I'm providing the location. The mm. clients are there. The music, the, the, the drinks. You just show up. So at the end of the day, what do I get out of that? Mm -hmm. So how do you, how do you know? Do, you, is there like a, do they post like a roster? No. <laughs> like, no, no, honestly, honestly. No, do they, do they like kind of come in and go, hey, listen, this is our, our in-house like talk. They used to. They used to. Okay. The, the, remember, now it's all like it's you the, just show the, up. the majority of them are all closed. Yeah, like, like we're talking like the real popular clubs in Mississauga. Yeah. At nighttime, the freelancers go there and they like they could either dance, hook, whatever they do. But they show up late because they know they have clients. They already they have their numbers. They text them, so they they know they're gonna make. So the owner goes, "Fuck that shit." Yeah, the guys are already here waiting for you, and you're gonna just walk in, make money, and leave, while the other girls are like walking around making my club look good. So he would charge them depending on like whatever. And sometimes you wouldn't even let them in if there was already too many girls because, you know, the fire marshal will come. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally. Fire marshal's <laughs> not allowed to come. <laughs> fire marshal's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they wouldn't let them in. There's capacity, man. There's, uh, there's capacity rules for girls. Right. Because nothing in law enforcement likes more than like having to show up on that, you know, capacity. They don't go, man. I'm telling you. They don't go no more. They gave up. They don't, they don't care. Yeah. Like, it's not a bad thing. And I, and I agree with it. It's a waste of resources. Like, there's nothing bad happening there. Like if the girls work there, they work there. Right. There's no violence. There's no fucking like you know like, I guess sh certain shit happens behind the doors. But at the end of the day, that's not to open to the regular Joe that's in there having a beer. Mm -hmm. He just wants his dance and goes home. The girls all seem pretty fucking normal. They're not walking around drugged out or anything. So. Yeah, live entertainment. It is, man. Yeah. I think it's a win-win. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, that's been fascinating. So nowadays, it's... Uh, but the problem is, again, you got to drive far now. They're not everywhere like they used to be, so... I think it's, the evolution of the dancer is pretty much evolutioning out the door. Maybe another five years, they'll all be shut down. Probably like a... No, they still need... I feel they still need... There's only 12 left. I don't know. I, if I was going to say, and the pricing... How many guys can afford going downtown to that strip, to those strip clubs and spending all that money? There's only a few selected people who can afford pricing of, these, of this uh, level. 
Yeah, then it comes to a point you go, it'd be cheaper to go and to then, Vegas. And then after a while too, you know what? Things get boring. You used to go twice a week, now you get once a week, you know, like mm -hmm. again and again. When I was younger, I used to go three times a week, you know, because it was- afford to. And it was more like, we're young, we had more fun. It was more like, you know, now we'll go here and there, you know what I mean, just for the hell of it. But I honestly can't see it lasting that much longer, maybe another 10, 10 years. And what happened? The evolution ends, like, you know, like the fucking, what's that called that hit the planet that killed the dinosaurs or whatever? Earth. <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't a mediator hit or whatever the fuck yeah. it's called? Yeah, everything's gonna so that's what's going to happen to the strip club. A big rock's going to fall on the door and yeah. that's it. I don't know. Climate change is real, folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, climate change. No, that's, that's my prediction. Like, I could see maybe one or two keeping the doors open, like the tourist trap ones, the yeah. big ones. But they all the little baby ones that are left, the other ten, eight, they'll be done. They're pretty much hanging on by a thread. Just trying to, yeah, because rent's ridiculous, property tax ridiculous, and the city doesn't want to renew licenses. Well, a few of them just sold, man. They sell the properties, and they sell, and they're building condos. The guy just got $50 million for one of uh, the ones in the, uh, down Queensway area. Oh, yeah, there's a famous dirty one Well, on Broadview in... Uh, yeah, that, now it's a, what is that, a hotel? It's a, it's a fancy little hotel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Like, yeah. you know, five bucks for a cup of coffee, and... Yeah. 20 bucks just to sit down and have a cocktail on the roof. They're, they're catering. Yeah, the land is worth more than it was in just sitting with an empty room and a bunch of girls now. Yeah, it's, times have changed. But anyways, that's the evolution of uh, the exotic dancer. What well, a fascinating little drive down that road. Yeah, it might have been said like, yeah, I guess we could have uh, covered a few more things. But at the end of the day, I think uh, people get the gist. We'll come back. We'll talk about this topic more later. Of course. Why wouldn't we? Anyways, make sure you guys, what's that little speech you always tell people? Uh, you got to make sure that you like, subscribe, and review. Sounds good. Agreed. Subscribe, people. Hit that bell. Julian. And Reimer. Oh. I know what an octopus yeah. is, but what, the, what, what are you talking about? Tentacles get all the orifices, does okay, all the touches okay, at once. Enough, okay, enough. Stop, 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 <laughs> I can't stop, stop, stop. I'm shocking you.